I'm Alan. And our first segment is going to be Blu-ray. What is it? What's it about? Our second segment is going to be it's going to be uh, laptops versus cell uh, PCs, desktop computers versus cell phones. We're going to be talking a little bit about why the cell phones are taking over computers, how they're so much similar now nowadays than they were in the 20th century. Of course. In our third segment, which is a new segment, new gonna segment. Be we're going to a news doing, segment. New segment. We're only going to be doing two segments now, and we're replacing the third segment with a news topic. We're going to be doing one or, new, one or two news topics, and today's special news topic you'll find out at the end of the show. Indeed. Okay. So uh, well, before we start the show, I want to talk a little bit about um, the whole like uh, views of the website and our website in general. I want to start out and say that we're actually accepting questions. So if you go on our website, yes, right there. Let's talk tech. Dot co. co dot cc. cc. We are asking computer questions. Well, we're asking you to ask us computer questions so we can answer them on the air. Or even segment ideas that we need yeah, desperately. Yeah, segment I we need desperately. So give us some segment ideas. We need those desperately. As well as you can um, send us an email or a comment, and we'll read it on the air. If you'd like, just put in read on the air. So you know, just let us know. Email us, shoot us an email, send us an email, whatever. We would be happy to hear from you. OK, so our first segment is going to be on Blu-ray. Um, Blu-ray is basically a DVD, but it's in a different format and it's a little different. And it's only played on D uh, Blu-ray players. Well, it's it's only played on the Blu-ray players. But let's start talking about the whole aspect. Like, why was the Blu-ray big? Well, like, do you think the Blu-ray is really popular? Well, it definitely is because Blu-ray. Everybody has HD TVs now, or a lot of people. Well, a lot of people do. We don't. And um, now, if you have a Blu-ray player, you get like the full extent to your to your uh, HD DVD, you can watch movies clearer, you can listen to sound clearer, everything's clearer in it than a DVD. But if you, if don't, you don't have it, if, if you, you don't, don't have, have an HD TV or you know, a junk TV, then why get a Blu-ray player because it's just going to come out Yeah, it's just going to be crappy anyway. But yeah, I, I had to agree, I, I definitely agree with Thomas, why get something nice that's going to improve something if you don't have the thing to improve it? You know, it's like getting a brand new part for a bicycle that's already rusted. Yeah, so, you it's know, pretty, it's what's the point, you know? Yeah, and if you don't have a uh, Blu-ray player, which costs a good good deal of money compared to a DVD player, what's the point, you know? Yeah. I mean, just but, play DVDs. Well, they have, um, you, would you like to start going, can we go on to more parts of the Blu-ray? Yeah. Okay. Um, Blu-ray parts that uh, they just recently, Dell just recently, maybe, maybe a year ago, a little less, they just came out with uh, a way so you can um, uh, watch, have the Blu-ray in your laptop. Now, not too many, not th that wasn't very, they were trying to do that, but the technology was hard to get that. It's not very popular. It's not very popular because not too many people like the Blu-ray. And it's not very popular because if your speakers on your laptop or your PC, they aren't that good, and your monitor on your PC or your laptop isn't that good, then why get a Blu-ray player when it, the sound well, in the video is not going to come out that good? Also, not just that, but the thing is about that is if you put a Blu-ray player in, not too many people, not as many people have a Blu-ray player as a DVD, yeah. as a DVD player. So I'd rather burn something to a DVD disc and know that somebody could probably read there's it. There's a good chance that somebody could probably re watch the video. Like if I were to burn our show on a DVD, I'm going to burn on DVD. I'm not bur burning on the Blu-ray. Blu because I know that our grandparents, all of our grandparents, even older generations and stuff, all, everyone has a DVD player for most of the part. Yeah. So they could watch it on a DVD player. I know no one in my family has a Blu-ray player, so I'm not going to bother. And Blu-ray discs cost a lot more than DVD well, discs because they're disc. harder to da they're harder to scratch, and they hold more. Yeah. And the format's okay. different. Which well, I like that. But have you noticed that the, in the Blu-ray, um, we should we should have gotten a video for this, but. In the Blu-ray, they have a. Um, there's more features. Yeah. The games are better. The games are more like an Xbox 360 game. Kind Not of, exactly, yeah. but yeah, they, they have better games. They can, better graphics, and they can do more stuff like interaction. Better than more DVDs because you can hold more. There's more of a. You're, it's cooler to skip stuff. With the with the uh, DVD, you were um, you'd point at TV and then you'd skip. With that thing, there's an actually a menu that drops down, like your start menu on your computer. It, it comes can, up. Yeah, it minimizes itself and then opens itself up. Well, this thing does the same thing with the Blu-ray player. 
so it has more options on the bottom bar if you open that up. Yeah. Similar to your Windows Media Player. Yep. It's, uh, so Blu-ray definitely is a good thing if you have an HD TVD and great surround sound yeah. speakers. And like you can we afford have it. surround sound, but we only have a DVD player. Yeah. Now, do you want to talk? Do you want to talk about the comparison between the HD? Sure. Okay. Um, the HD DVD, which now is not available anymore. Yeah, you, don't, you can't get it. Yeah. Because PS3 decided to make Blu-ray their main player. Mm -hmm. um, so, because they were competing, and now Blu-ray won. So Blu-ray, who is the main dominant HD DVD format, yeah. or DVD. Yeah. Um, I don't know what formats Blu-rays are in. I but, don't know. Yeah. Uh, definitely, if you have an HD TV and you can afford a Blu-ray player at this time, go ahead and get one. It's definitely worth it because Blu-ray sounds and looks cooler. Well, it's worth it only but if... Um, if you don't have a good... TV or well, no, no. Even junk. if you have a good, t you know, if you're one of those people that's going to go out and buy the latest tech stuff, just so you know, just so you can be cool. Okay, that's that's cool. You're going to use it. That's that's okay. But like, I well, a lot of people don't have that kind of money just to go spend on a brand new thing. They just convert it over to DVD. Yeah. A lot of pe well, a lot of people like they got the DVDs in the beginning, you know. But still, there's not as much of a jump when the goes from HD DVD to Blu-ray. You no, know, there's not. It's you not, mean DVD to Blu-ray? There's no HD DVD anymore. Yeah, I know, but so, but there's not that much of a jump. There's still discs. Yeah, there's still DVDs. It's not as much as when the tape to tape, DVD yeah, came tape out, which was like came out. big deal. Because it's like all of a sudden it's a little square square box thing. Oh my God, we got a rectangular box, and it goes to a circular object. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, and it's a CD, so look at it, that. You know, and it would last longer. Uh, VHS only lasted what twenty years? Some of that. Was, and, yeah, was, and the tape. Years. If you got the tape all messed up, yeah, was... and then it would eat the tape all the time. Yeah. But that you didn't have to worry about that. So a lot of people switched for that reason. The Blu-ray, there was no reason to switch other than the high quality HD and sound. I think in the future, when everybody gets HD TV TVs, Blu-ray will become the dominant over DVD. But yeah. for now, until well, they I'm become sure cheaper, they already, I'm sure they already have something out that will um, that's like beyond the Blu-ray. I wouldn't suggest that they would put it out. Why would they want to put that? Why would they want to put something out that people just people aren't even barely even getting to Blu-ray at the moment? All right, sure. <laughs> but like I was saying, um, if right now if you don't have an HD TV, uh, HD TV, pretty much you shouldn't get one. It's not worth well, it. Well, they don't have. They don't. They they could get one, but it's that if they want to convert later. Like if they had yeah, it, you, but wait till it's cheaper. I mean, at this point, players are very expensive. They, uh, they're they're yeah. costly for D, uh, Blu-ray yeah, players. I have no idea what the cost is, but yeah, they're, they they're, are costly. they are pretty costly. So. That's why. But but when Blu-rays came in, the DVD price went down. Yeah. So. But everything's coming out in Blu-ray now. Yeah. So. No, but DVD who started the Blu-ray. Do you? I'm pretty sure Disney started the Blu-ray. Well, Disney started making the disc to the Blu-ray. Yeah, I, they there's were the many, first ones. There's many different companies yeah. that makes Blu-ray. You know, the. Uh, there's a ton, and but when, like Disney first, like all the, uh, they start coming out with all the ones for they started DVD converting and they started converting the DVDs mm -hmm. to Blu-ray, and then they're like, oh yeah, we're converting it all to Blu-ray, and then it's like a lot of people didn't even have Blu-ray at that point at all. So, so pretty so pretty much wait until more Blu-ray discs yeah. come out and Blu-ray becomes more popular, and you have an HD TV. So like wait another so, five years. Yeah, you know, something like that. Maybe like two. Okay, maybe two. Okay. Okay. But wait a couple years, yeah. and you know, you might, you know, it might get more popular. We'll see what happens. All right, uh, we're gonna go do a commercial, and we'll be back in a sec. Public service announcement. Hi, I'm John Michael, host of Creation. Today, I'd like to talk about recycling. Can we really make a difference? Each year, I use approximately 480 plastic bags from the grocery store. In the past, I've just thrown them out. Since starting my show Creation, however, I've come to realize that my habits are harming Mother Earth. So this year, I took an oath to go green in every possible way and to help promote a better understanding of what recycling really is. Why? Because I can make a difference. Now each time I go to the grocery store, I bring back my used plastic bags, a free service the stores provide us to help save Creation by recycling our used plastic bags to make new ones. Did you know that over 380 billion plastic bags are thrown in the trash each year, ending up in our landfills? And cities spend up to 17 cents per bag in disposal costs, thereby wasting millions of tax dollars. What are you doing to save creation? Help reduce waste. 
please recycle your plastic bags. On behalf of Creation, thank you. This is close to the babe. You think this is close to the babe? Wait until you see the first show of hysterical sports. That's close to the babe. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, this segment's going to be on cell phones versus computers. Which one's better? Because you all know that uh, cell phones now are taking over computers. Yeah, where you can buy just, a whole lot. You can just take out, iPod go on Facebook. Touch. iPod Touch, perfect example. Perfect example. Yeah, there's internet, pretty much full internet. There's Yeah, there's full internet. You have your apps. Now, the apps are not on a computer. Now, Windows Vista and Windows 7. They both have kind of apps to them. You put them on your desktop, yeah. desktop applications. But they're not like the apps on the iPhone. The iPhone has way better apps for everything. They have uh, bird watching, tax <laughs> apps to make your tax. Yeah, they to have make your tax. Uh, to find your restaurant. Yeah, they have GPS what, in there. Yeah. They have internet. Yeah. They have the Safari browser. There's everything. But in the this. plans Hopefully. are costly, dude. I try to get one of those things. The lowest. I put everything down to the lowest it could be. It's like $70. $70. Yeah. Yep, $70 it's, for the lowest month. It's terrible. The plans per month yeah, are pretty it, bad. Yeah, pretty And much. even the phone now, it's going down, but it's like $250 just for, yeah, to buy the, the phone. And then you got to find what service, which I believe is AT&T. AT&T. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. what, that's who uses it. Not unless you switch out the SMS chip. Yeah. So the uh, Sims. MSN? Sims. Uh, Sims chip. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So, um, so yes. our point is, is that exactly what we just said it's taking it over dude it, it's the same thing you could do more stuff on a iphone than you can on a computer at your house not really well similar. you can do you can do a lot of stuff on your phone compared yeah. to a computer well you can do a lot more stuff on the internet even even a laptop i mean you can carry it around but it's not like a phone where you can yeah. just take it out even when you're walking now yeah and do stuff i mean like my laptop i don't i don't whip out the laptop and say oh okay um, Even when you're walking, wear yeah, you, you can't walk and do <laughs> you that. Can't walk With a cell phone, that. you're on Facebook, yeah, checking your checking email, email yeah, right, right on your phone, where you can just pretty much walk around and do it. So I, en so I enjoy that. I enjoy the iPhone, even though I don't have it. I use TJ's. Yeah, but so I enjoy it. But it's still the, the laptop. I still have to agree would be very useful for a lot of things. Yeah, compared to the iPhone, but but the, then they have the BlackBerry, the BlackBerry Storm, the new, and even the old Blackberries, the little ones. Yeah. So Even though with the pearls and yeah. stuff, they're they're pretty. But they good say that you can write documents and stuff on it. Um, you can like the the new thing about the iPhone where you can like open up your fingers and like select and copy and paste, which they didn't have in the old one, and the new one I believe is coming out with a camera. Yeah, yeah, which, yeah the new one is coming out. Which with is camera, pretty which crazy. I think it already came out with. Yeah, which I think is pretty crazy. Uh, I think they should have had a camera in the first place. Yeah, they could because the phones already had cameras when by the time the first one. Yeah, came out. they could have done it, but yeah. they didn't. And another big, big thing, if a new phone like that comes out, wait a little bit because the iPhone, when it first came out, had a ton of bugs where people just had to send it back, get the new, whatever, the version update or whatever. Yep. But the people which who we waited. Have, which we have talked about before. Don't get the latest crap. <laughs> we'll do. Don't, don't think just because it came out and just because everyone's talking about it, thinks it's awesome. First time the iPhone came out, there was a huge line, $600. You do want to get the latest crap, but don't get it like the second it comes out. Don't be like get those, the reviews. Don't be like the other people, the uh, the people who stand outside. And if you are one of those people, I'm sorry, but <laughs> don't be those people who stand outside when it first comes out, sit there for like a year, yeah. and then when it finally door opens, not run in good. there. Yeah. yeah, it's. I would wait for like even a couple of days to find out the bugs. Week even, stay for a week. Let people buy it first and see how it goes. If yeah. everything is okay, go out and buy it. Yeah, go it's out fine. and buy it. But back to what we were saying about the whole, it's, we, like what we're saying, it's taking over computers. It, you could do basically the same thing with 
a cell phone than you do with a computer with the internet wise. Yeah. Not Except. as document wise. Document wise, you get to go out, go into Word and stuff like that. No, I'm sure they're already coming out with that. <laughs> Except you can't play Flash. There's some yeah videos UK, and yeah, stuff. You can't vid you can't really play. You can't download well. Flash to your iPhone. No, so yeah, or I your don't BlackBerry. Like that. So you can't watch some videos on. Yeah, the a lot of videos that, you can't watch on that. The you need iPhone. Flash. Yeah. YouTube for the most part, you need Flash. Yeah. So. Well, what um. For the most part. Yeah, for the most part. There's some. You can, but there's phones that come out and they're like, oh, well, they got YouTube on them and they got Google on them. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, if you have the internet, you already have Google and YouTube on it. Yeah. So but you is, can. I don't know why they advertise that. You can watch YouTube for, even on the iPhone, there's a little thing that you can watch all YouTube videos with. But I'm just saying, uh, you, you just can't watch some Flash sites. Yeah. You can watch all YouTube videos, but just some Flash well, sites just don't work for some well, reason. That's it's because you can't YouTube download videos Flash. aren't Flash. I mean, YouTube videos are mostly MPEG. That's what they prefer when you upload them. Yeah. But yeah, it's 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 crazy because the twenty when like the twentieth century, the the twenty first, like no no right now we're in the twenty first, but like in late twentieth century, beginning of the twenty first century, phones weren't that big a deal. Like I know like nineteen ninety nine, I my mom bought a phone. Bought a cell phone. Oh my God, yippee She bought a phone. Came with games, but it didn't have as much of an impact on people. No, the, it, it was didn't, still more for business people. It didn't come with uh, the cameras. It didn't mm -hmm. come with all the extras. It didn't come with. It was more for mobile people, but it wasn't as big as it is it today. It really wasn't. There wasn't a lot to yeah. do with it. Yeah, you there, just, just much call called. people. Right and, now, there's text messaging. People and, can't allow the text messaging. And even it was very basic calling. Yeah. Like it was. Like even then, it was sketchy. And even before that, in the 20th century. Yeah. Way, way, way. Late 20th century. Yeah, like, you know, yeah, late 20th century. Even then, when the big cellular phones came out and, like, they were strapped to you, yeah. people didn't want that. They were like, why no, am I doing phones. this? In the car phones? No, they were, there was phones that were, like, strapped to you. Oh. And there's cellular phones that's that were, like, they didn't make, that's this they made big. big. That's because they didn't know how to And you had to, like, flip small. up the antenna and you're like, hello. Yeah, yeah. And it had horrible reception. Well, the, the car phones, the car, a lot of people used car phones back in the day, and a lot of people have antennas. A lot of that older was, people had the antennas. That was a big deal, the car. the car phones, but now nobody does yeah, that. nobody does that anymore. But, um, but phones. yeah, now it's all cell. And you, I, you could probably not find a single person on the street, barely. Barely. One out of every, no, probably four out of every five people have a even cell phone. Even little kids are getting, like, even, even like yes, five even elementary. When I was in elementary school, kids were getting phones. Wasn't that many, but there was people that got but cell phones. Now everybody's getting phones because parents are worried about their child's safety. Well, they have the parent tracking. Yeah, phone. and parent tracking, and they have the text messaging, call me 24-7 kind of thing. But, but even then, but that's not a big deal because even then, I yeah, mean, but now, now you have a cell phone. Want, but now kids want the phones because they do stuff on the Internet. With a lot of people with stuff on computer, they don't know crap about the computer. They just know about the internet. That's all they know about because that's all they want to know about yeah. is the internet and they want to know how to check their mail. With the cell phone, it makes it really easy to do that. Pretty much. You can yeah. just go on, check your mail. Well, just like, check your just Facebook. like Outlook Express on Office. But even people who know stuff about the cell phones are very yeah, convenient. Very, yeah. Yeah. Where it's more convenient than a laptop. You can like, be in a, a restaurant of, even. I put a lot of consideration in getting an iPhone, and then I'm like, you know something? I'd rather get a laptop than an iPhone. Because Why you, should I pay so much for an iPhone when I could be well, getting a laptop? The big thing about you is you couldn't afford the monthly payments. Hmm. You couldn't afford $70 a month yeah. for your life. Well, no, no, I was thinking about getting the Touch. Oh, uh, the... Yeah, the, the MP3. Yeah. Which, but yeah, it's taken, taken over a lot. Yeah, and... I, 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 have to, I have to agree, but yeah, it's, it's, the, it's that the... I would prefer if they made cell phones that you could uh, text with, or maybe plug into a printer. Well, they do. You can text on the iPhone. No, no, I understand that. But I prefer if like they made like a cell phone where you could like plug into a printer or something and print it, like yeah. a USB port. Yeah, yeah, that I would. That would be nice. Oh. Yeah, just plug it into a USB port. Maybe uh, the wi uh, they have the new wireless printers out now. Uh, maybe connect to a wireless printer. You know, that would yeah. be. You know, I mean, that would be nice. Mm. Uh, well, that goes into more PC stuff where you have to create like the my computer, open yeah. up the add a printer. Yeah. Well, that gets confusing. Yeah, stuff, but yeah, well, that gets confusing. Yes, I mean they can. I mean later on when the programming advances, the updates come in and people. I mean they can have all that stuff advanced. be done automatically. Just say add a printer and then just like a wireless. Yeah. Just like wireless, you just pop up with the thing and just says, oh, which one you want to connect to? Just have the same thing for a cell phone. Pretty much. Okay, um, we're going to go to another commercial, and we'll be back in a sec.
Finally, that's over. Yeah, now we can have a cigarette. I'll take one. Me too. Just, Just because they're models doesn't mean they're role models. Does anyone need a smoke? Yeah, I'm dying for one. Yeah, hand one over. Just because they're cool doesn't mean smoking is. Does anyone have a cigarette in their pocket? Sure. Role models rock. Smoking does not. This is close to the babe. You think this is close to the babe? Wait until you see the first show of hysterical sports. That's close to the babe. October 10th. Oh, welcome, welcome back. back. To and, Let's Talk Tech. And our special news segment that we've kept you so long in waiting is go, is our is that Microsoft is in a lawsuit yet again. Is with, being sued. Yeah, is getting sued for, from a company named Eye for Eye. A Canadian company. Can, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. It is a Canadian <laughs> company. Um, um, a Canadian company, and they're suing them because Microsoft Word uses a XML creating and reading software format format that is also use that Which is been patented, patented by I for I originally so they're suing them for how much was it 20 two, 290 million 290 million dollars they get completely and yeah. so far they're winning they yeah. won no, the first they won one. they no. won but windows is going to appeal so, them microsoft yeah. is going to yeah, appeal yeah them. trying to appeal them so they are they uh, they have sued them for the 290 million dollars and they have gotten it so they <laughs> Microsoft's yeah. in the crapper. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The office that you know and love today, the yep. Microsoft Word that you know and love today, is not going to be yep. available. As of October 10th, they are be no longer allowed they're to sell. They're not allowed, uh, 2003 and 2007, they're not allowed to sell because it uses this XML format, which is patented by I for I. I for I. So what and just for any confusion, I for I is the letter I, and the number four, four, and the letter I. Okay. Yes, and um, <laughs> yeah, so there's not going to be any. Well, and then there's that big thing that 2010, like we mentioned, is going to be coming out yeah, soon. Yeah, it's going to be delayed. delayed. And it's, gonna, it's probably going to be delayed. We, yeah, it's probably. It's probably going to be delayed because they can't sell the XMS, uh, XML XML format that that they're probably going to use for the next one because they used it for 2003 yeah. and 2008. So I don't know what they're going. I don't know what they're going to do because half. The, if you buy any Microsoft program, it's all all the Microsoft programs are with Word. Yeah. Any of them you buy, like some of them you buy and without Word, Word, but you have, but you Word, are going to buy them. With Word, Word is the biggest one. I'm, most people buy Office to get Word, and even Macs so, are affected because there was that Mac for the uh, yeah, Office the Mac, for Mac, Mac 2009, and even that is affected because they use the XML. But so I think what's going to I think what's going to happen is you're going to see a lot of shel Microsoft shelves empty of Office because they're not allowed to sell so them. If, but you can go on the website, get a trial. Get that trial now before October 10th, so they don't have. So before they take it off the web. Yeah. So get that trial now. It's only a 60-day trial, but get that o trial now. October 10th is when they're going to be taking it off. So probably get that get unable the, to sell. Yeah, try and like keep checking the website before they take it off, and then like get it like oct as of October 9th. Yeah. No. And then, even before that, because they're probably going to take it off soon. Yeah. Okay. Get so it, just get try it like and get October. It as soon as possible. Get it as late as close to October 10th as possible, so you can have the latest yeah. trial that nobody so, else has. And the next thing we we're talking about is that the upgrades is maybe the, the upgrades updates. are not going to be as big a deal. 
Oh. Yeah, we might not have the. They might have not have the updates. So the kinda, updates might not be. Which kind of sucks because the people who bought Microsoft Office 2007, the new version, for like two hundred dollars, yeah. are now not able to get Upgrade updates for as it easily as before because. Yeah, Windows stole an uh, XML format from another so, company. So yeah, so yeah, you guys are. I think there's going to be a definite issue with this. I think they're all going to end up selling too. But don't worry, if you have 2007 Office, you still you're, are yeah, able you're to still keep it. You're still going to be able to download it and everything. You're still able to keep it and you're still able to use it, but you're not going to be able to buy other copies as of October 10th. Okay. Oh yeah, and we have a countdown on our site. On our uh, site, a uh, countdown for yeah. and. When uh, Office will, Office be, will be, be no longer available to be sold. And they're also, um, the site you can get more information on it is uh, the site right now. What's the site? Uh, just, yeah, there's a whole bunch of it. Just search it Search on Microsoft Office lawsuit yeah, and okay. it will come and, up. Yeah. Okay. We're trying to wrap this up as much as possible. We only have like a, maybe a minute left. Okay. So our uh, next week's shows are going to be storage devices, the SSD drives, the solid state drives, you know, the, the external. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, and uh, followed YouTube by video. YouTube, YouTube videos. videos. Yeah, we're going to talk about YouTube, why it's a good site, maybe not such a good site. Maybe show you some clips. Maybe show YouTube. you some clips, some yes. of the best clips, maybe some Fred videos. Maybe some bad clips. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, yep. and that so wraps up our show. Yep, so thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next week. Yep. Please visit our site.